What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the ATN 94. I'm Dara. I have Luke here today, and we're talking defenders, talking transfer stories about defenders because we've had a couple of corkers now over the last week or so. We're going to go straight in. So, Graham Bailey's been talking all about Alexander Zinchenko wanting now. Well, at least want more minutes, which is fair enough. He said that Zinchenko is open to leave in Manchester City. He wants regular minutes in a regular midfield role, which I think Arsenal were kind of keen on. I, I can see it, I could definitely see it happening. They also followed him up with that. There's also interest from Wolves and places in France and stuff like that, like everywhere. A lot of people want him. He's that kind of player who can fit into a role of he can play left back, he can play in the centre of midfield, he can play him wherever you really want. I think he's a great player. And I think over the past few years, he's been crucial to City's success. He can fill in wherever. I think when we played um, Cancelo in that free flowing role last season, he really looked to be the best when Zinchenko was in that team. He, he completely changed the game for uh, the final day against Aston Villa as well. I thought he was superb when he came on. He was the reason we were actually able to attack down that left-hand side without it looking completely counterintuitive. But before we kind of give the, ver the verdict on keep our style, Luke, how do you feel about him? What, do you think he can, he can fight his way back into the team? Yes and no. I think he definitely has qualities that we should, that we should definitely consider you know, keeping for next season. But I always wonder, like... If we're going to give Wilson Esperin a chance next season or the year after, when are we going to start doing that? Because, as I say, we've got Cancelo obviously playing left back. Obviously, they're looking to get Cucurella in as well. So, obviously, there's options there we can look at. I mean, I most of all, I love having Sinchenko as a great backup option. I always think, like, he deserves to be playing week in, week out because he's that good of a player. He's, he's been... And I remember when, when he first joined us, was, was out on loan for a season and came back and did really well. Like, it's it's crazy how, like, he... he we got him was it was it for like two million pounds? Then 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 um bought him in. I thought it would just be some player that we should sort of use for a bit and sell on again. But he's come one of our probably cult, cult hero at the time because he's just he understands the role of being a city player. He understands the club and especially the last year the whole Ukraine situation going on as well. He's been such a a fighter and a warrior for this team. And if he does go this summer, I will definitely be I'm gutted if he does go. But I'll completely understand if he, if he wants to, because he, he deserves to be playing week in, week out, because he's that good of a player. He's not world-class, but I feel like he definitely has the ability to make any team better. And for me, I do hope he, he does stay for another year, but I will be always surprised if he does go if Pep wants to give us Aspirin a chance next season. It's See, I thought it was all doom and gloom when all these reports are coming up, but we actually got one there from... It is that uh, we're taking this with City Extra, so the accumulate of that. It's uh, Douglas, I'm not sure who he writes for, but Alex Sinchenko is open to sign a new contract as well, which is great. I think, you know, he's Luke touched on it there. He's that type of player where he's got that bit of heart in him, he's got that dog in him, where he wants to say he'll want to fight because I mean, we've seen it over the last few years. He was linked to Mills away to, to, to Hull to Wolves, he was linked with Mills Arso as well. He wants to stay there, he wants to be a crucial part of that team. and if he has a, if he has that fight in him, if he wants to keep if he wants to keep playing, keep fighting, then I think keep him a hundred percent. I I'm definitely in the camp to keep him because he is not only is he a fantastic player, he has that ability to change games. We saw it with Villa this season, we saw it with PSG last season. La yeah, well sorry, PSG last season in the Champions League semi final he came on and he was great. We need to keep that type of player. We need someone who can fill in those roles because, I mean, you never know when they're going to get... Fair enough, we signed Cucurella. You never know when they're going to get that type of injury. Like, Cancelo could turn around and break his leg tomorrow. Um, then if you sign Cucurella, you only have one left back, one fit left back. I think we need him. I think he's just a crucial part of the team. He can change a game. He can come on. He can be something new, a new attacking outlet that we don't use, that we haven't used, that a team can turn around and say... We didn't know he was this good. But before we go on to the next segment, Luke, are you keep us I definitely keep. I think this season I can see him definitely playing, uh, as, I said, as I said previously, Wilson has brought a bit more maybe in the cup competition this season. I think he's, been, he's a good player and, and he definitely could get more opportunity next season. Hmm. But for me, Sinchenko definitely should be, I think, well, at least one more season at least, because I feel like at the moment we're still a bit low on defensive options because I know we've got Cancelo and Walker right now but that's our only real thought and obviously Zinchenko but we haven't got another right back right now mm. and obviously we've got Joao who plays there as well but we need some, we need a bit more options there and we look, we look, we look at look Zinchenko that's, that's another player that we've got to replace and the more players we do sell this summer the more that's become more of a rebuild and it's not rebuild it's more of a 
massive upgrade. Obviously, obviously we've got Haaland and that coming in up front, but obviously in defence, obviously we we still got okay, okay, definitely have a full back if possible as cover, or bring obviously bring through as well, Asprin if need you need be. So for me this summer, I, don't, I definitely would keep Zinchenko, but next summer I won't be surprised if he does go. If you want, if he wants to get more more game time, but we'll see. I suppose you never know what happens in football, do you? Yeah, that's it. That's exactly. But I'm a hundred percent key. But I think it's still good to let go. But we're going to get on to the next defender right now. Okay, so the next big talking point of the video, Nathan Ake. Someone who is really good. He's really come up big in this season. I think it's been great. He's, it's been a huge improvement on his last season. When I know I was saying, anyway, I didn't think he was City quality. I said it kind of when we signed him, but I remember that West Brom game with you at home. I was really in the dunce mountain. But this season, you know, he said multiple points. He said the point that Ar- Well, he said got, got ended up getting three points at Arsenal. He said the point that... Bur- Again, we got to three points at Burnley, but he made multiple goal line clearances. He was fantastic. I think he was great. He filled in great at left back as well when he was called upon. I think he's too good to leave. That's why when I was when we were hearing news about the Newcastle links, I was thinking this is him gone because Newcastle, you know, they've just got their uh, they've got their little financial injection like we did. They're looking to make a couple of good Premier League signings. Sometimes they know can keep them afloat in that top half of the table, pushing Europa League. That's where they want to be. And Nate Naka was a perfect signing for them. Eddie Howe loves him. It just made too much sense. But thankfully, according to Luke Edwards, we have kind of fended him off with a 50 million price tag. Do I think that Nate Naka is worth 50? Well, it's definitely worth 50 million to see. Do I think his market value should be 50 million? Not a chance. But I mean, that's what he's worth to see. That's what you go off. He's been fantastic. He's been great over the last season. I'd be gutted if we lost him. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. Because the thing at the moment with Ake, like I mean, obviously as as obviously he's fourth choice right now, but we look at we look at the injuries of Diaz and <coughs> the season. He was it was crucial to have him. Obviously he was injured as well, but it was good. It was important to have have his option, have him yeah. in the team at the time. And I just don't I don't think Pep really trusts Egan Riley. Well, I don't think Riley trusts more, but at best say I've heard not really the much. It'd be kind of risky to sort of sell a fourth option. Because if we have another injury crisis again, mm-hmm. then Ake's gone. So, for me, no, we have to keep it. And I do think he actually is, is should be raised a lot more by people because he actually is a very good defender. I mean, mm-hmm. he, I heard Bournemouth, Bournemouth, but when we watched him, he was, he was their best player. Obviously, yeah. he was incredible. And he's playing, obviously, a different team, yes, but, but defensively, he's great. I, I can't afford him at all. He, he, he knows what he's doing. He's very. He's obviously quite aware. He's not... I wouldn't say he's great as you know as, as good as Laporte and Diaz or, or Laporte and Stones as part of passing, but he does a job of like Diaz does of, of, of defensive tackling and that, and we need that kind of player on the team. So for me, I definitely agree. We should definitely be keeping him in, 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 for, for at least another two years if possible, because obviously it, it, it seems we could go through a lot of changes again in a couple of years because of age, obviously age and that kind of stuff. But right now, he's definitely crucial to have him in the squad right now. Yeah, a hundred percent. I think he's a player we have to keep him. 100% because he's very good he's a very good player and like to have him in reserve is phenomenal to have that type of player again we said but Zinchenko can fill in the multiple places in the pitch he can play on the left he can play on the left side of a two I'm sure he'd play on the left side of a three if we were ever so uh, mental to play that he's just too good I think he can fill in a DM as well we've seen him drop into mid every now and again I think his ball distribution is great I think his aerial considering he's 5'10 his aerial ability is fantastic as well he's got multiple headers for us he's got into those positions he's great I don't want to I don't want him to leave at all which is why I was sure when I saw the quote he was talking about this season he was patient and he played more and that's what he wants to keep on doing he says he wants to keep his, his place in the side he wants to keep going and that made me really happy I love seeing players that turn around and say this is where I want to be this is where I want to play you know, we saw it with Zinch- I'm sure we've seen it with Zinchenko before. We've seen it with multiple players. Gabriel Jesus has said it before as well. That's why I like that kind of player. Well, they're fighting them where they say, I want to play. I'm going to state my kind to play. And that's important. That's as important as your football ability, your mentality to say, I'm going to get into this team. I don't care who's ahead of me, which is why I love players like Ake so much who want to make that mark. So, Luke, before I wrap it up, I think I know your stance, but you keep yourself. Definitely keep. I think. Obviously, right now, I think out of the four centre backs, if Peter players were to leave, I'd say probably Laporte out of the four. But when I really look at it, all four of them are happy here. They're both mm-hmm. happy, all happy to be here. They all love the club. So I think for me, all four are, are, are important to keep. Yeah, I know the likes of Mbete and they don't get really up much opportunities. But personally, for me, I'd loan them out anyway. 
I, I put the most centre backs like that on loan just give them, because amongst the ones we've got youth players, that was a bit different point, but the youth players, right? I always think we're just going to we'll give them a year away if possible. Obviously, obviously, you eat some obviously in reserve for, for a fifth choice, but for me, right, it's if we go out and start selling players like Ake and Zinchenko just for the sake of getting money in, then you've got to have a, a, a replacement who's as good as they are in that position. And that's not, and especially in this inflated market where prices have gone from like, what, 10 million for a percent back to about 20 or 30 million, maybe, maybe 40 million at times. It's important to keep your players like that who can offer that kind of different role. And even Ake okay, at left back at times has filled in there and done really well. So yeah, for me, it has to be a key because this summer is a big summer in terms of getting more players in and maybe selling like, 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 like lots of Jesus, so even Sterling, he wants to leave. So it's, it's a big summer in that, in, that, in that regard going forward. But defensively, I think we're okay, apart from maybe like the odd left back, like Cucurella this summer. But apart from that, I think she can definitely stay. Yeah, I'm 100% I agree with you. But let us know what you think. Do you want to tell them to stay? Do you want to tell them to leave? Who do you want to leave? Who do you want to stay? Who do you want to come in? Let us know all about it down below. Right, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you on the next upload there.